The government will undertake major tax reforms by June this year to attract more multinational investments into the country. President William Ruto says the government will take up a new tax regime for the next three years, including tax exemptions for startups and VAT cuts for exported services. The president says the Special Economic Zone Act will also be amended to open up Kenya to the global market. Kenya plans to earn 10 billion US dollars in foreign direct investments by the end of this year by increasing export to ideal markets and tapping into at least 5% of the US market. To make the dream a reality, the country will have to navigate through challenges such as low investor turnout, cross-border entry issues and double taxation on goods. One of the key challenges of, uh, for business community has been the issue of tax. This policy that will enhance transparency in our tax regime will take effect by June 2023, that is this year, and we will, it will be in place for a minimum of three years at least. We're doing this so that you can make your investment decisions knowing exactly how the tax regime will look for the next three years. President William Ruto says he has set in motion a set of reforms, especially on taxation, that would make the business environment more conducive. VAT on exported services will now be removed in the finance bill in the coming budget in June this year. If, for whatever reason, a refund is not made by the Kenya Revenue Authority within this period, the taxpayer can offset their claim against future tax liability without further application to the Kenya Revenue Authority. The president says a predictable policy environment is essential in luring multinationals into investing locally. All verified tax refund claims will be payable within six months. If, for whatever reason, a refund is not made by the Kenya Revenue Authority within this period, the taxpayer can offset their claim against future tax liability without further application to the Kenya Revenue Authority. These ladies and gentlemen, these wonderful men and women, uh, just from my own experience and the topics that we've been discussing, are actually voting with their feet on where they need to be. And if Africa is the next frontier, then Kenya is a gateway, and these wonderful people have actually demonstrated that. President Ruto reiterated the government's commitment to abolishing the requirement that foreign companies surrender 30% of their stake to a local investor before setting up business. The reality is that a lot of this growth has to be homegrown, and that's a good thing. It's good for the world. Young Africans are building companies that will not only spur growth and jobs on the continent, but will also be a source of technological process and innovation. Backed by a huge human resource base, Kenya is looking to bank on its geographical positioning to get ahead in regional and continental business. Hibak Said for Prime Edition.